Today, the Ohio Department of Health reporting nearly 3,400 COVID-19 cases over the last 24 hours. Now, that's the highest number we've seen in six months. In addition, another 147 people have been admitted to hospitals throughout the state. 46% or 5.4 million Ohioans have completed vaccinations. With cases spiking, a few aspects seen early on in the pandemic are making a comeback. Local businesses taking more precautions. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live tonight in Columbus with what a few businesses he's been talking to are doing right now. Eric? Colleen, it's been less than a week since a mask advisory was announced here in Columbus, and we're starting to see some more and more signs like this. Businesses saying masks are required. The owners that I've talked to say they feel like it's the safe thing to do. With COVID-19 numbers in Ohio reaching levels we had not seen since early February, small business owners are taking notice. To be honest, it feels really surreal. As co-owner of Yellow Brick Pizza, Faith Pierce keeps a close eye on the restaurant and the state's coronavirus data. Due to rising cases and recommendations from health leaders, the pizza place and bar announced Wednesday it is once again requiring masks for everyone. I have children under 12. A number of my staff members have children under 12. Um, so I feel like oh, right now we need to we need to protect them and we need to protect the people that can't get vaccinated. Masks are also once again required for everyone at the gluten free bakery. Bake me happy. Just wanting to. As much as we can make the best the safest decisions for our staff and our customers. According to co-founder Letha Pugh, the shop had just recently stopped requiring masks for employees. She calls bringing them back disheartening. With worsening case numbers, she says she's worried about people's health and business taking a hit again. For small business owners, you know, we're scared to death. After things were going in the right direction earlier this summer, she says it's frustrating to be taking steps back. We did not want it to go in this direction, but we felt it was the safest and best choice to make at this time. And both businesses say they are unsure how long these mask requirements will be in place. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.